We've been working together on basic problems in gene expression and developmental biology and in disease biology for decades. We believe we figured out a role for regulatory RNA, RNA that is being produced from the regulatory regions of genes in the control of specific genes, an insight that really changes the paradigm of gene regulation. And we believe CAMP4 has found a way to exploit the ability of ASOs, antisense oligos, to bind selectively to specific regulatory RNAs and tune gene expression up in the context of diseases where you have haploinsufficiency or low levels of gene activity. The concept at the very beginning was to upregulate some of these genes that were made by specific tissues. And so we, we mapped where every DNA binding protein would bind to chromatin in the liver and how it would turn on genes, how these domains would actually fold together to be able to uh, regulate gene expression. And we also looked at the uh, RNA expression and even the primary transcripts of RNA and saw that there was a synergy of these activities. And there seemed to be um, regulatory RNAs that were actually made by these regions of the genome, uh, these enhancers, and, and these types of things might be able to be targetable. In a number of diseases, you can have haploinsufficiency. So what is haploinsufficiency? Well, in a genetic disorder, if you have a mutant allele, a mutant chromosome, and a wild type, a normal chromosome, you could have 50% of the output of that particular gene. And so it's possible that if you could get the normal copy of the gene to be upregulated, that you would actually fix these genetic diseases. There are over 650 uh, haploinsufficient diseases. Uh, this occurs in many different organs, in the brain, the eye, the heart, the liver, muscle, kidney, and the immune system, and the blood system. And this is a real problem for the doctors to be able to figure out how to actually take care of these patients. So to me, this is almost a, a paradigm shift for how you could treat these types of diseases. And I just think that it's so cool to have a company that was able to make this discovery and be able to upregulate genes. In principle, you can fix haploinsufficiency with gene therapy. But one of the things that we're very concerned about is that there are many diseases where overexpression of the product is just as deleterious as underexpression. So what you'd like is a natural system taking advantage of the way the biology actually works to upregulate genes to just satisfy this haploinsufficiency phenomenon. The majority of these gene regulators have a third binding domain that binds RNA. And indeed, what we think is happening is that the enhancer RNAs and perhaps RNAs adjacent to the promoter are contributing to the regulation of each gene. And we've seen strong evidence that what the RNA is doing in addition is it's helping retain the regulators in this chromatin space where gene regulation is occurring. What this leads to then is an ability that CAMP4 has now demonstrated by a very large number, dozens of disease genes, that is essentially in every case, they can identify an ASO targeting selectively a regulatory RNA, an RNA from the enhancer or from the promoter, that we believe has the effect of selectively removing the repressor. And we believe that's the mechanism by which they're able to demonstrate over and over again this ability at essentially every gene to upregulate the transcription of the gene, and as Len pointed out, to actually in model systems have, an, have a physiological effect that would be beneficial in a patient context.